welcome to Storytime with Judy. Our book today is Little Bear's Valentine by Elsa Homeland Menarik and illustrated by Heather Green. Well, Little Bear finds a valentine in his mailbox and it doesn't have a name on it. And his mother tells him it's from a secret admirer. Well, he delivers his valentines all over the village and he thinks that one of them is going to be a secret admirer, but then he finds out that none of them are. Who do you think his secret admirer is? That's On a cold and snowy Valentine's Day, it's best to be inside where it's warm. That's where Little Bear was. He was sitting at the table making Valentine's for all his friends. The cozy room smelled so good because Mother Bear was baking cookies. Little Bear made Valentine's for Emily, for Hen, for Owl, and for Duck. Little Bear cut his valentines very carefully, and on each card he drew a little bear. They were all beautiful. But for Mother Bear, he made the most beautiful valentine of all, a pink valentine with flowers. Soon, Little Bear was ready to deliver the valentines he had made for his friends. He decided to surprise Mother Bear with her valentine when she came back home. Where could he hide it? In the cookie jar, of course. Mother Bear said, Come here, little bear. Let me bundle you up before you go. As he left, she said, Why don't you look in the mailbox first? There might be a valentine for you there. <clears throat> a valentine for me? Little bear asked. He wasn't sure which was more fun, to give valentines or to get them. Oh, look, Mother Bear, a valentine for me. A beautiful valentine. Little Bear opened the card, but there was no name on it. Who could have sent it? Mother Bear said, You have a secret admirer. Little Bear walked along. It was so cold he could see his own breath. But the sun was warmed his little face. He was happy because he had a secret admirer. Who could it be? It must be someone who likes to keep secrets, but nice ones. Little Bear thought about being someone's secret admirer is a very nice secret to keep. Little Bear decided to deliver Emily's valentine first. He liked Emily. She liked him. Could she be his secret admirer? Oh, said Emily, how sweet of you, Little Bear. Here is yours. She gave him a valentine. Thank you, Emily, said Little Bear, but I thought maybe you were my secret admirer. Little Bear told Emily all about his special valentine. Oh, my goodness, said Emily, aren't you lucky? I love secrets. Well, said Little Bear, I guess I do too. Goodbye, Emily, I'm off to give Hen her valentine. Hello, Little Bear, said Hen, as Little Bear came up the walk. Little Bear thought, I wonder if Hen is my secret admirer. Little Bear smiled at Hen and said, Dear Hen, here's your Valentine's card. Hen was so pleased. Hen had something for Little Bear, too. It was a Valentine cookie. I made that for you, Little Bear, said Hen. So Little Bear told Hen about his secret admirer. Little Bear had more valentines to deliver. He had one for duck and one for owl, and so he went on his way. At the pond, Little Bear gave Duck her valentine. Oh, goody, said Duck, I love valentines. Little Bear held his breath and waited. But Duck wasn't Little Bear's secret admirer. She had made a special valentine for him with her own webbed feet. There was only one card left for Owl. By now, Little Bear was very, very curious about his secret admirer. But Owl couldn't even wait for Little Bear to say hello. He handed Little Bear a card right away and said, Happy Valentine's Day, Little Bear. Little Bear gave Owl his card. Then he told Owl all about his secret admirer. How exciting, said Owl. It's a mystery. I'm confused, said Little Bear. He thought about the valentines that Emily, Hen, Duck, and Owl had given to him. They were lovely, but who was his secret admirer? 
It was growing late and Little Bear was getting hungry. He remembered Mother Bear's cookies, so he started for home. When he walked into the kitchen, all his friends and his very own Mother Bear were there. Mother Bear said, Surprise, Little Bear! I am your secret admirer. Little Bear got his valentine out of the cookie jar and ran to Mother Bear. He jumped into her arms and gave her the valentine. He also gave her a kiss. That's from your not-so-secret admirer, me, he told her, and she gave him a big kiss back. Well, you know what? Your mother's always your favorite valentine, isn't she? And you are hers. I hope you enjoyed this little book and I'll see you again tomorrow. And don't forget to like and subscribe and have a wonderful Valentine's Day.